Good day everyone, and welcome to TLE 10 Cookery, Quarter 2. For today's video, we are going to discuss the techniques in storing vegetables. Why is storing vegetables important? The appropriate storage of vegetables is important. In addition to delaying vegetable rotting and preventing ripening, safe storage can protect you from acquiring a foodborne illness. Storing fresh vegetables. Remove air or oxygen from the package to prolong the shelf life of fresh vegetables. Keep items at a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Most fresh vegetables can be kept in the refrigerator for up to 5 days. Fresh leafy vegetables should always be wrapped or covered in moisture-proof bags to maintain product wetness and prevent withering. Squashes and eggplants should be kept between 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 60 degrees Fahrenheit in a cool, well-ventilated place along with root vegetables such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, and onion. After being harvested, tomatoes continue to ripen, therefore they should be kept at room temperature. Before storing carrots, radishes, and beets in the refrigerator, remove the tops to prevent moisture loss and increase shelf life. Due to the conversion of starch to sugar during cold storage, corn loses some of its flavor. The best place to keep corn peas is in a vented container. It is advisable to rinse lettuce with cold, running water. Refrigerated, bagged in plastic, and drained. Fresh veggies' quality and nutritional worth will be maintained with proper storage. Storing Process Vegetables Vegetables in cans can be kept for up to a year in a cool, dry place below 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Vegetables in cans can still be consumed after a year. Overall quality and nutritional value, however, might have declined. Cans that are severely damaged, bloated, dented, or rusted should be thrown away. Dehydrated vegetables should be kept in a cool, dry area and eaten within 6 months as they tend to lose flavor and color when stored in the freezer for 8 months at 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Vegetables that are prepared at home should be blanched before freezing. Trim any leafy ends, remove ties, and rubber bands before storing. Keep the vegetables from drying out by leaving an inch. Vegetables should be packed loosely in the refrigerator. Check that the bag they are stored in has been pierced with some holes to allow proper air movement. Faster rooting occurs when they get closer together. While delicate herbs and mushrooms should not be washed until they are about to be used, leafy greens can be washed before storage by soaking them in a sink full of water. Rules when storing vegetables Use only fresh produce. Begin the preservation process immediately after harvest. Avoid damage, cut, bruised and pest disease infested produce. Use all preserved produce within one year of storage. 5 Methods of Preservation Drying Drying is among the earliest methods of product preservation. The fundamental step includes drying out the product to a point where deterioration is unlikely. The warm heat of the sun, a dehydrator, or an oven can all be used to achieve this. When the product is ready, it should be kept in airtight containers and kept in a dry location. Fresh vegetables are of better quality and more nutritional value than dried vegetables do. Additionally, labor-insensitive and time-consuming, the process. But some foods, including beans, peas, and other legumes, can be dried without suffering much loss. Examples Dried Potato The shelf life of dried or dehydrated potato products is 1 to 2 years. Dried Leafy Vegetables Properly stored, dried vegetables keep well for 6 to 12 months. Dried Onion The shelf life of dried onions or dehydrated onions will be stored for 10 to 15 years in a sealed can, oxygen absorbed included, under ideal storage conditions in a cool, dry place. Once opened, it has an average shelf life of 6 to 12 months. 2. Canning Canning is seeing a resurgence of interest since it has grown easier with more efficient procedures and decent equipment such as standard jars, lids, and more dependable and safer pressure cookers. The product is cooked in the pressure cooker to destroy bacteria that might cause deterioration. 
In addition, this process deactivates enzymes in the produce that alter flavor, texture, and color. Canning might include additional expenses such as the purchase of equipment, containers, and other supplies. It is also time-consuming. Canning, rather than drying, can preserve greater food quality for most types of vegetables. Examples Canned green beans Canned green beans can be stored virtually indefinitely, but both taste and nutrition may suffer as the years tick by. Store canned green beans in cool, dry foods. Dependable recommendations typically indicate that good storage will maintain quality for two to five years. Canned mushrooms. Properly stored, an unopened can of mushrooms will stay at the best quality for about three to five years, although it will usually remain safe to use after that. Canned corn kernels. Unopened canned corn kernels that have been properly kept should keep the optimum quality for three to five years, however, they can still be used beyond that time. 3. Curing and salting. When garden food is allowed to organically ferment, it is termed to become cured when microbes begin the fermentation process and change the food quality without producing undesirable flavors or toxins. Natural curing is best demonstrated by fermenting cabbage into sauerkraut. Many acids are created throughout the fermentation process, which limits the fermentation process by limiting microbial activity as the meals grow more acidic. The second method of curing food is to add organic acid, such as vinegar, to increase acidity and decrease bacteria growth. When enough salt is supplied, these two will inhibit microbial action and effectively stop the growth of spoiling organisms. Curing and salting are not common methods of preserving garden vegetables due to the significant difference in quality and overall taste. Examples Curing and salting onion They will last a couple of months so long as you don't get any other food particles or bacteria in there that can cause contamination. Homemade pickled onions will last about two to four weeks in the fridge, while store-bought ones can last two to three months after opening. Curing and salting beans When you store the cured and salted beans in the refrigerator, they will only last three to five or so before they are to start yucky. You will only make the mistake once of storing them in the fridge before eating them because they give off a most unpleasant aroma if they sit too long. Curing and salting garlic Curing and salting is complete when the outer skins are dry and crispy, the neck is constricted, and the center of the cut stem is hard. Storage After curing, garlic can be kept in good condition for 1 to 2 months at ambient temperatures of 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit under low relative humidity. 4. Freezing Freezing is a typical and highly desired method of preserving some garden produce. Although this method does not improve quality, it is simple to use provided one has access to a freezer and takes the time to correctly wrap the food so that moisture is kept. Like other preservation techniques, freezing stops the development of germs that lead to spoiling. The fact that food can be preserved for many months without any color change while maintaining good nutritional content is one of the key benefits of freezing. The texture of some soft products can alter significantly, although the significance of this depends on how the food will be used in the future. Green peppers can be frozen, but when thawed at room temperature, they will turn watery. When compared to fresh fruit, the texture will be significantly different. The color will continue to be pleasing. The texture of some soft products can alter significantly, although the significance of this depends on how the food will be used in the future. Green peppers can be frozen, but when thawed at room temperature, they will turn watery. When compared to fresh fruit, the texture will be significantly different. The color will continue to be pleasing. Examples Frozen broccoli once frozen, transferred to a plastic container or resealable freezer bag. The broccoli should stay fresh tasting and free of freezer burn for 6 to 8 months. Frozen spinach Properly stored, frozen spinach will maintain its best quality for about 12 months in the freezer, although it will usually remain safe to eat after that. Frozen cauliflower 
frozen cauliflower retains its best quality for about 8 to 12 months. In most cases, you will cook the frozen cauliflower, so often, there's no real need to thaw it. You can add it frozen, and that's it, but if you need to defrost it, do it in the refrigerator overnight. 5. Common Storage The process used to maintain most of the output produced by our ancestors is known as common storage. This entails keeping the collected goods cold and in darkness. There are several ways to accomplish this, including leaving the produce in the ground, burying it in trenches, storing it in cellars or basements, or putting it in wooden boxes or barrels that are kept in cold areas like a garage or porch. Various ways of common storage In ground storage Carrots, beets, turnips, rutabaga, horseradish, salsify, and parsnips may be kept in the ground throughout winter. They should be buried in the soil either to prevent the crop from freezing or to keep the crop frozen after the ground has frozen. Alternating between freezing and thawing will harm the product. Because of this, you should bury the crop by putting a 6 to 8 inch layer of hay, straw, or leaves, which will keep the ground frozen. After a few frosts, parsnips and horseradish may start to taste bitter. In this instance, adding some mulch towards the conclusion of the growing season to stop the ground from freezing so soon would be a technique to prolong the flavor. 2. Pits Storing vegetables in an outdoor pit is another effective, although inconvenient, method of preserving crops. Burying under the earth creates a controlled environment because soil temperatures do not change and remain cool in comparison to air temperatures. Pits, on the other hand, must be well-drained and rodent-free. The most typical way to form a pit is to sink a barrel or galvanized can into the soil, leaving two or three inches of the rim above ground to prevent moisture from entering the container. Spread sand in the bottom of the can, then layer the produce in damp sand, piling up to the top. As the container fills, cover it with a lid and pile enough straw or mulch on top to give insulation. Finish with boards or bricks to prevent loss of the mulch layer due to wind or disturbance. Above-ground storage beneath a mound of insulating materials can yield comparable benefits. This is accomplished by building a cone-shaped mound and layering veggies on top of it. To keep rats out, the mound should be lined with a flexible form of hardware cloth. Ventilation is also necessary to ensure proper air exchange. Stakes can be used to create a tunnel down into the heart of the mounted layers of veggies to accomplish this. The top of the mound should be open and covered by a board to keep moisture and rodents out. 3. Indoor Storage The most convenient place to keep fruits and vegetables is within the home. A second refrigerator that is kept between 32 and 40 degrees is perfect for many sorts of vegetables. Some products require greater storage temperatures to maintain quality, and each crop should be assessed separately. Above-ground storage beneath a mound of insulating materials can yield comparable benefits. This is accomplished by building a cone-shaped mound and layering veggies on top of it. To keep rats out, the mound should be lined with a flexible form of hardware cloth. Ventilation is also necessary to ensure proper air exchange. Stakes can be used to create a tunnel down into the heart of the mounted layers of veggies to accomplish this. The top of the mound should be open and covered by a board to keep moisture and rodents out. Examples Asparagus in common storage Asparagus has five days shelf life when stored in darkened, cold storage like basements and garage. Cabbage in common storage Try to minimize any bruising of your cabbage. Any kind of cell damage makes the cabbage go by more quickly and degrades the vitamin C content. If cabbage is properly stored, it can last from 3 weeks up to 2 months in your storage. Celery in common storage For the best result, keep celery heads whole, wrap them up tightly in aluminum foil, and then keep them in the refrigerator crisper drawer as usual. When stored this way, celery stalks can maintain their freshness anywhere from 2 to 4 weeks. Other factors to consider when storing vegetables Clean storage space 
Always maintain the storage room clean and remove fruits and vegetables as soon as they begin to deteriorate. During the summer, containers should be removed, rinsed, and dried in the sun. Monitor the temperature. Temperatures should be monitored to avoid produce being destroyed by exposure to low or hot temperatures, which can occur in severe circumstances. Regulate the humidity. Vegetables and fruit will wilt and lose moisture over time. Maintain optimum moisture levels during storage by controlling humidity. This can be accomplished by humidifying the air or by storing individual crops in plastic bags and box liners. Humidification is easily achieved by spraying water inside the storage space, but not directly on the product. For root crops that lose moisture despite attempts to humidify with free water, keeping them in plastic bags may be the best approach to keep them fresh. Plastic liners and bags should be vented by making holes in them. Produce should never be sealed. Handling fruits and vegetables. Handle all produce with care to avoid scratches that serve as breeding grounds for storage illnesses. All vegetables should be picked dry or allowed to dry before storing. Pack vegetables in baskets or boxes made of plastic or wood. When the field heat has been lowered, move the produce to the storage area. Harvesting early in the morning or chilling overnight outside can help. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. For similar videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.